Hey musky fishing friends, welcome to this musky segment. Hey, I had some bad audio issues in this particular segment you're about to watch. I broke a mic cord, but uh, I didn't want to scrap the segment, so I'm going to kind of talk you through what, what you're about to see and what I was fishing with because I think it's vitally important that you try to adapt this tactic to your style of fishing because man, it's been a real big killer for me on muskies this particular season. First of all, I'm using downsized tackle. I've been doing that all season. Of course, you know, for about the last three years, since ever since I had the shoulder injury a few years back, I've really been experimenting and concentrating on, on, on upping my game by downsizing my game. And one of the things I'm doing is using downsized tackle, which is basically oversized bass tackle. And I've got, what I've got here is uh, one of St. Croix's new Legend Muskie Downsizer 710 Medium Fast. This is my favorite rod for this style of fishing. It's called their Twitch Stick. If you don't want to even concentrate on the numbers here, all you guys remember is this the new Downsizer Twitch Stick. It's a 710 Twitch Stick. It's fantastic, okay? 65 pound test, a Downsizer Reel, 300 size reel instead of a 400, which most musky guys use today. And look at the size of the lure. Downsized again. Five inch shallow raider, fishing for sluggish, tough to catch fish, all around the, the trip, all around the lake on this trip, people were talking about how tough the fishing was, how they couldn't get follows, or when they got follows, they couldn't trigger them to strike. And I started downsizing using small spinners all week, and I was scoring on that on occasions, but a lot of times the fish were laying tight to the rocks. And in this particular segment that you're about to see, it's really rough and it's really windy, and uh, Chas is throwing a spinner over top of all the shallow stuff with no no luck. And again, fishing the shallow raider, fishing a crankbait, getting closer to the fish. And remember, that's the key. When the fish don't follow, take the bait to the fish. Now, the five inch shallow raider out of the package is more of a floating buoyant lure, and it comes with one odd treble hooks. Um, what I am doing really successfully is upsizing the hooks to decrease buoyancy, increase depth, and increase hang time. So the one-odd hook, which is great, um, you know, the factory version of it is great over weeds and shallow water. It doesn't work well for this application because it stays too high and floats up too quick. So I, I went to a two-odd and had success with it, but it was still a little bit buoyant. I wanted a bait that was actually neutrally buoyant or even a little bit less buoyant, uh, no buoyancy at all, it would sink. And I, I was able to accomplish that by going to a three-odd treble hook. I'm, all I'm using is the hook replacement kit that JBO sells. Just taking those three odd hooks out of there, those three odd trebles, putting the one odds away, and replacing them with these three odds. And what it did was took all the buoyancy out of the lure, so I can run the bait deeper. I can get it to hang tight to the rocks, hang tight to a fish that's following. And one last thing, uh, here's the retrieve the retrieve technique that I'm really having success with is what I call a hybrid technique, which I use an awful lot with a straight model jerk bait like the minnow bait shallow rate or floating minnow bait shallow rate. When I go to either the floating style minnow bait or even these suspenders, what I do with it a lot, instead of jerking it all the way to the boat or casting it out and cranking it all the way boat, I do both. I create a hybrid technique. I will start out my retrieve as you will watch as this segment unfolds. I throw it out, jerk, hold, jerk, jerk, and hold a couple times, maybe three, four, five, six jerks, and that's it. Then I will break into a straight retrieve and then finish with a figure eight. And my reason for this is, I know a lot of guys just jerk on the bait all the way to the boat and rely on that dead sticking or hang time thing. And I've had some success with it, but not enough. But I've had great success at the boat on a figure eight, and that's why I hybridize the technique, start out with the jerk bait technique, and then kick it into a straight retrieve, because then, if I can give them the follow, I've got a straight retrieve lure, and then of course I'm gonna really up my game on a figure eight, and I'm catching the majority of them on a figure eight including this one.
That's a big one. This, this bait is gone. Man. All right, Joe. Oh, oh man. He's in the net. Oh. Oh. My friends, the baby shallow reader with oversized hooks. Just cranking it. Big glow. Big time, big time. The little bait that creates big time results. We'll see you next time. Thank you.